What's that over there? I don't know. Seems like another episode of Versus. Greetings, programs. Today's versus battle is between the stage four act humanoid and the stage five act mechanics. So why am I buying these or pitting them against each other? It's it's quite clear. I need them to uh, hold my my helmets. I have you know Boba Fett right here from the book of Boba Fett, and then I have my uh, Mandalorian from uh, the book of Boba Fett, and also the Mandalorian. And I'm just kidding. I just threw this in here for tax write-off purposes. Buy the helmets. They're pretty amazing. Okay, so let's just, <laughs> let's actually get into the real video. It's my really crappy house, and its creaking floors are ruining my audio. I'm gonna sit down now. Okay, no, seriously, why am I pinning these against each other? So I wanted a very good uh, six inch figure stand, uh, one that would carry uh, figures uh, in the air. Uh, so I have Mandalorian right here, I'm gonna zoom out. And then I have Boba Fett right here. I also have some other six inch guys. I have Jangle Fett, the um, GameStop exclusive one I have. Some other ones that don't feature jetpacks, but I'm going to pretty much use Boba Fett because he has his jetpack on uh, as an example. Uh, these guys right here are already situated with the Stage 4 Act Humanoid because I um, have an extra one already set up. But I just bought the Act 5 because I feel like that one's got a thicker pole. <laughs> And um, yeah, I feel like it would hold them better than this humanoid one because first of all, um, these are, I believe, heavier figures than say what they were made for, which is a bam, you know, Dragon Ball Z guys. I literally bought this dude from Target just for this review purpose and I'm gonna take him back to Target. And uh, so yeah, let's open up the packaging, look at the packaging for these two real quick. So this one's gonna kind of be like a rapid fire. So uh, on the front of the packaging, you see it's for a humanoid. Uh, this one's for a mechanic. I believe both of them come with two in the box. There's the uh, the back of the packaging there. It's a lot of stickers on it. You can see the me uh, mechanic one, a little bit uh, better eligibility, and you can actually see the uh, the packaging there, or the, the graphics. So um, we're gonna open up this guy, open up this guy, see. Uh, real quick what's included so with the act four i'm gonna the last uh versus was the two megatron uh, predacon transformers against each other and that was like very when you put them back in the box and stuff like that we're gonna kind of just skip this uh we'll skip that um and just show off what's included with the uh, figures here so you get two flat stands right here you get the hooks up top you get a groin hook i think you only get one groin hook Yes, you do. And then you get the two poles, and then the uh, sticks, and then the uh, hooks for the waist. And then right here is, uh, I believe, instructions of how to achieve what you need to achieve to assemble this uh, guy. We can kind of skip this because we already have them essentially right here. Um, so there's that guy assembled. This guy's new, so we'll get him out of the way. And then I'll just open up this dude. I'm looking forward to seeing if this one will work better than the Act 4, because they're preliminarily. Um, already opened it up. So we have ourselves the instructions for the mechanic, Act 5, right here. You can put down the bigger base, and it looks like it does not include a groin piece. Um, does not. So we're just going to quickly, I guess, open up one of the bases here. Bigger base than the, uh, really crappy scissors. Bigger base than the four by a little bit. Um, as you see, my uh, four is already um, falling apart. And then for this guy, we will open up arm
that guy, that guy. I think that's all I need just for one. So, like this dude will go into this dude. Uh, this guy goes, um, I believe, straight on. Yeah, so just like, like right here, I believe. Oh, that's already a million years better. So, um, right here, this piece into this piece. Like this piece, this joint can move around nicely. It's it's pretty smooth and it's sturdy right here. But a huge error and huge problem with the design of these guys is this pole. Zoom out a little bit. This pole easily comes off. It's so bad. So if you choose to keep the and use the Act Fours, just use maybe some glue. You obviously can't like rotate like that, but you can still like rotate this, so it's still okay. So just glue with super glue or hot glue or we choose to glue it with the, this pole in this base because this this um, stub is way too short. It should be a little bit longer for more stability. So that's just a design error by, I think Bandai made this. Bandai made this. So this one is just like awesome. And apparently you can take off these and move them onto the smaller stage if you wish. You can, but it's like loose. I wouldn't really recommend that. So leave them on this guy. So we're gonna put together real quick. You have like your little, I guess, T-shaped hoister, and then you can kind of like model kit this stuff out of here. Boom. And then you throw on the uh, the arms. And then you uh, just throw this guy on here joint onto joint. I'm already off screen, so I will zoom out to show you. <laughs> oh joy, get on there. Okay, so I wanna show off the range of motion for both of these stands. They are pretty similar because they use almost the same exact parts. So uh, for this guy, the Act 4, uh, there is like a little uh, pivot and I believe it swivels around. Of course, it's gonna break. So I'm just gonna show off this that it swivels around on a 360 so and then Of course this hinge here and then when you have the stick a little stand on it that goes in a 360 as well this pivots um, This will pivot this way twisting around as well as go up and down So you can have it like that or like that or you can flip it around and have it like this if you wish Pretty versatile, pretty versatile. This guy does the same thing, but instead of this just kind of being um, just the standard joint moving in and out, up and down, pivoting, swiveling, this um, moves around on a 360, I believe, at the base here, the stand. But since it is a bigger arm with more uh, sturdy construction, it has hinges here on the bottom of the base. You can even hear it clicking, uh, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then here, uh, this guy goes up and down for this little pivot joint. Um, I don't think it twists around, so you have to pretty much um, just have the twist here at the base versus like here, this twist here. Um, actually, don't think it twists this way either. There's no hinge there. But it uh, goes up and down, and you can have it go backwards if you wish. Um, good old cheap stand plastic but um and then, and then uh, up here this one goes i believe um up and down it's not like double uh, pivot joint there but um i have just the uh the groin um insert there for the mandalorian belt fett figures but this guy also comes with um if you look at right here in the uh, instructions this comes with one of the uh, pivots like here at the bottom so you can put a pivot there. That's the great thing about this, it's very customizable. So really quickly, I want to measure just to show off people uh, how tall and how big the bases are. So this guy is roughly um, like five and a half inches to that point, and then with the arms like almost six and a half or so inches. The base itself is about four inches in width and the depth's about three inches. Um, so if you want to have your figures like be in front of the stand or whatnot. This one's probably the best bet. The uh, depth is about four and is that five eighths? Almost five eighths. Then the width at the biggest point is three and three quarters almost. 
Um, and then maybe like back here, let's go with like this line. It's about 2.75 inches on that line right there. Then the height of this guy, um, probably up to here is about seven and a half inches, but this is a different um, groin holder, <laughs> uh, figure holder for the waist. So it would probably be about seven and a quarter or so, instead of seven and a half. But uh, very tall, it could be very tall. As I slam on the table and <laughs> ruin my audio. All right, so let's try um, having Boba Fett, like I guess in the air. And this guy. Okay, so um, I have here all you really need to know if a Act 4 versus an Act 5 will hold a, a Black Series figure, a Mandalorian figure, someone jetpacking or whatever in the air, um, this is your answer. Act 5 will, and an Act 4 uh, will not. Um, this one, the Mandalorian, he, uh, let me just take off his helmet. No, no, don't tell the Beskar Forger. Uh, we're going to take off his helmet to see if that weight-wise helps him. I don't have his jetpack with him right now, but just pretend that he does. Um, and uh, this just, just does not want to um, hold uh, this guy in here. Now, I can add in um, his little groin accessory, uh, but this pole, once again, is just proving to be a, uh, a bad design choice. Now, you can have them standing... Uh, with the Act 4, but if you want more versatility for your figure stands, then the uh, Act 5 is just uh, a lot better for having your figures um, in the air. So that looks really cool. And um, this guy, he does have the, um, the groin here accessory. Um, he really isn't like holding so much right there below the belt but the back side seems to be supporting it a little bit more and this groin accessory unfortunately it's not available um, with the act 5 right out of the box it's only with the act 4 which kind of sucks um, so we're just gonna take him down low a little bit here we're gonna move it back and then see if we can just have him stand in pose and um, let's see here, let's do it down a little more and he, uh, he stands and poses very well. So um, I think we have a winner <laughs> without doing a lot of like technical aspects of which figure stand is better for the uh, Star Wars Black Series figures. Now I know that the Black Series figures are a little bit probably more in weight than the Bandai guys. So we're just gonna actually quickly find out if they are, I'm assuming they are because the uh, Star Wars guys have all these accessories on them. And I'm assuming the plastic's a little bit heavier than the Bandai stuff, but we're just gonna open up real quick and find out. Uh, yeah, this guy's all, is a decent amount lighter than uh, Mando here. Oh, Mando's kind of light too, without his, um, his cape. So we're just gonna quickly, on the scale here, see what they weigh respectively. So, he's about two and a half ounces. This dude is about Vegeta over here is actually 2.3 ounces. So, uh, and this is without the jetpack and stuff. So he is a heavier figure. Uh, that's why I figured, ha <laughs> ha, we're gonna turn this scale off and um, set it aside for now and then just see real quickly um, if these you know figures hold them um, in the air without any problems. Yeah, even though they're too heavy. Um, let's see here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out this guy and we're gonna put in the uh, the groin one to see if that helps out Vegeta here. So yeah, if you have this glued here at the bottom, um, uh, spoke too soon. <laughs> 
So uh, I'm not really touching this guy because if I move him left or right, he will fall, but he's not glued in. I recommend gluing him, but they do hold the regular human figures from Bandai. Uh, they will not hold the Star Wars guys. The Star Wars guys are too heavy. Um, I recommend fully Act 5 for the both base standing and then um, in the air Star Wars figures. Both are about, I think, the same price. You get two bases and poles uh, per toy stand. Uh, I believe they're both $9.99 a piece MSRP. Both of them are readily available. So both of those are a tie. Uh, packaging, better design, we're gonna skip that. Uh, which packaging is easier open, that is a tie. Uh, which toy you can put back in the packaging, we're gonna skip that. Uh, which toy looks more like a character represents, you don't need to worry about that. Um, which toy is better detailing, skip. Uh, which better paint job, skip. Better, so here's the big one. Better quality materials. Um, it is going to be uh, this stand right here. So we've already recommended it. So um, it's only gonna skip to number nine out of the 12 for versus, which has better quality. Obviously it's this dude right here. The pole is thicker. Uh, this one has the design error of that not being glued in and kind of hurting the figure stand. And for being the same price of $9.99, I believe, or so, MSRP, you get two per pack, two per pack. It's like a tie with that. Uh, this one is the uh, clear winner. Now, if you were doing just a uh, figure uh, standing up and you didn't want like one that had like the pegs for the peg holes on the bottom of the stand, uh, if you wanted just like, you know, have them standing on a stand like this, uh, which one would be better? Uh, it would definitely be the Act 4 because if you look at the uh, difference of how much it takes up on like the bookcase or the shelf, uh, it's definitely the Act 4 is a little more thinner profile than the Act 5, but the Act 5 also has that versatility of being able to be in the air. Just a quick note, um, as I talk smack on the Act 4, the Act 5 uh, right here on the uh, joint that goes from the big uh, piece to the littler plastic um, arm. This portion right here is a very small peg as well. It might need gluing also. Um, get that more in focus so you can see a little sharper that this peg is very short. It's actually like right here. It's not like this whole thing. It's just this portion right there. And even pinpoint even more it's right there that's the cutoff versus like it looks like it's there but it's actually like right there it's very small um, needs some more support so both of them are actually um, ill-made um, they're not perfect but uh, this one's obviously a little bit better with the thicker arm but uh, yeah this one will probably need some gluing as well over time just a quick note so yeah I uh, fully recommend the Act 5 rather than the Act 4. This has been the second episode of Versus. We actually have a clear winner this time. It was a little bit of a, an easier Versus because these are just figure stands. There's really not much like you can do or talk about with them. Um, so that is my recommend. I'm glad I kind of like went shopping around and found out like what works best for me. Also, if you are a, a huge a Star Wars fan like myself with the Black Series figures. I do have a few, not too many, but i um, starting to get more and more into them. And I want a really nice stand for them instead of just like the standard stand with the pegs. And there's also the Hasbro uh, Pulse, I believe, um, like in the air jetpack stands, you, they call them. But I didn't want just a jetpack stand. I wanted it to be like both a regular stand if I wanted to have them standing or, you know, crouching down or whatever. And also in the air if I choose to uh, have them in the air. So I wanted that versatility. And so I'm glad I found the Act 5. Bandai does a pretty good job with their uh, productions. And um, yeah, so that's my recommendation. The winner of Versus is Act 5. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a pleasant rest of your day. Godspeed. Threats to have the American ambassador expelled after the incident. The U.S. State Department responded quickly with a formal apology and announcement of the ambassador's immediate voluntary return.